Hey guys, so some pretty big updates on MetaZoo. First of all, it appeared on a Netflix TV show. I was watching it on YouTube and I was like, what? What? And obviously this is the Hello Kitty set, Mike Waddell. Now at this point in time, things are not going good for the company. The company filed for bankruptcy. Uh, it is in bankruptcy right now, which we'll get into a little bit later. And Mike Waddell is meeting this guy, and they're, and the guy is, I wouldn't be surprised if five, ten years, it blows away magic. What he is referencing is, of course, Magic the Gathering. And this is kind of the FOMO, but it's, it's crazy because this is the FOMO right before the explosion and the bankruptcy of MetaZoo. So there's no need for FOMO here. Like this isn't Nightfall First Edition where Alpha Investment is selling these boxes for $8,200. No, there is no uh, FOMO necessary in my opinion because this is the, I mean, they're on death's door. So in hindsight, the Hello Kitty set would, would be the last, last set ever. And many, I mean, it kind of didn't really make sense for the demographic of 99.9% .9 males from age 25 to 40 who believe this is a investment like the S&P 500 is. So at this point in time, he says MetaZoo is rocking and rolling. When this episode aired, MetaZoo was already in bankruptcy a long time ago. So obviously the editors, they had the footage, right? So I believe the show is about, no, oh, I canceled Netflix. I'm not going to resubscribe. I was, uh, I was like some type of, Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. We're not going to get Netflix again in my household. But yeah, it was a bizarre show where this guy goes around and he gets imaginary prices. You won't believe like the money effing prices he got. So Poncho the artist gives him like free original pieces, which Mike Waddell says he commissioned for $20 each from I'm assuming Poncho. So then Poncho signs it. Poncho is the artist who does all the Rudy promo, so arguably probably the most famous MetaZoo artist. And he signs it, and then suddenly the assigned value of this uh, from the consignee, so this guy is going to go out and try to sell it for a lot of money. You won't believe what he's trying to sell it for, what the assigned value that he gives it is. He says the estimated value of the signed artwork from MetaZoo is $25 thousand dollars what an effort twenty five thousand dollars you might be able to buy metazoo the entire company i'm not joking to you and you're going to buy like wait till you see what actually is estimated twenty five thousand dollars right like the fomo is so the, the the pricing is so unrealistic the fact that they truly this dude guy probably actually believes it he looks like he's been in the uh, tcg space for less than a day um he truly believes that MetaZoo will outbeat Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering, the oldest card game, the oldest, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, this is pretty uh, cringe. I, I don't know why they have to make stuff up. Like, it, it, it doesn't seem like, for instance, like they made a whole 2024 roadmap. At the time they made the roadmap, which is the end of 2023, they knew they were in financial difficulty, right? They know, knew that they owed 1.7 and they were not bringing in that 1.7 million and they didn't have the ability to pay that. I don't know why they're still like doing, like it, it doesn't make sense to me why you have to continue to lie. Like it's just lie after lie after lie, right? Why make a roadmap when at the time you're making a roadmap, you know you're not going to pay the players, but that was on a roadmap. You know these new sets are not coming out, but that was on your roadmap. You know these whatever, like, and 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 here they're valuing this Hello Kitty uncut sheet at $5,000. They can print as much of them in China. Whoever the new owner is, they can print as much of them in China for a dollar shipped, right? And... And then look at the price of this. This thing is not $25,000. In fact, original artwork just went on whatnot and they were selling for $100 a piece. So maybe you have $300 here. I, assuming, I don't know, I, did, I didn't attend that whatnot auction, but assuming these are the same quality of pieces, right? So 
yeah, this is, they assigned this a value of $25,000. This is just make believe, right? The, I mean, they're saying that this game is, this game that is in bankruptcy in five to 10 years is going to beat Magic the Gathering. That pisses me off, right? That pisses me off. Magic the Gathering that has existed and is the first really successful TCG of all time um, for 30 plus years. This game that just came out is going better than Magic the Gathering in 5 to 10 years. Unbelievable statement. And this product, yeah, you're looking at the card and the original artwork. Somehow this has an estimated value of $25,000. How effing stupid are these people? Like, like at some point in time, I think maybe they actually believe this shit. They, I, at some point in time, this artist Poncho, right? Eventually, he would leave immediately after this convention, and he would quit. And that's not even talking about the meta zoo. The, the the legal stuff is a mess. I don't. It, it's a mud effing mess. You would have to pay a lawyer. Fifty thousand or hundred thousand dollars to figure out the legal stuff, right? So I I do IP, so I can figure out the IP part. But where stuff is located, where things are, the inventory list, it's it's not cheap to do this stuff. They made a mess out of it. Look look at this. So that one card and two original arts, they assign a value of twenty five thousand dollars. The company is in mother effing bankruptcy right now. Assuming they haven't resold this particular artwork, probably you can get it at auction for $10, $15, $20 maybe. Yikes.